Hello, we're going to find the derivative of functions that involve logarithms. And what we're going to do first is look to see whether we can expand the logarithm expression. So um, let's go ahead on the side of the paper, write down some properties that are uh, sort of well known. Well, depending who you are, but um, ln a times b is equal to ln a plus ln b. I'm using the natural log, but that's true for any base with logarithms. Um, the second one is that ln a divided by b is equal to ln a minus ln b. And the third is that ln a to the x power is equal to x ln a, so that this exponent here comes to the front. Now, when I, mean when I say expand, what I mean is that if, suppose I have logarithm of a product, I mean, when I say expand, I mean that we can write that as two logarithms that are uh, separated by, by addition, or if I have um, a division, a quotient, then I can write that as, the, um, as two logarithm expressions where I have a difference. And over here, if I have logarithm of, of, a, of an exponent, that exponent can be brought to the front. So for this problem right here, what I'm going to do is, uh, let's get a good color here, let's use a little brighter blue. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, first of all, factor this uh, inside part here, and I get e to the 2x factored out 1 minus x. And I could just go ahead and, and take the derivative using the chain rule. So the derivative of the chain rule would give us, for logarithm of all this stuff, it's called this u, the derivative would be 1 over u, so 1 over all this stuff times the derivative of this stuff here. It's okay, but then I have to use the product rule. But what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to expand at this point so that I can save myself a little bit of work. So I get y equals ln e to the 2x plus ln 1 minus x. And then I have another little property, uh, which is that ln e to the x equals x. Might as well write down e to the ln x equals x at the same time. And what it is is that the logarithm and the exponential are inverse functions, and so they cancel each other out under composition. Notice this is not multiplying um, ln times e to the x. That's not multiplication. That's ln, um, that's ln composition e to the x, not, mul not product. So uh, over here, then, we, we do get uh, canceling. The ln and the e cancel out. So let me write, then, one more line here. y equals 2x plus ln 1 minus x. And so now we can differentiate. differentiate. So, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't do the derivative. I just did a bunch of, uh, you know, algebra there to get that, and so, uh, you know, I just simplified it before I differentiate. And so now the derivative is what? Well, the, the derivative of 2x is, you know, is 2, and the derivative of ln 1 minus x is what? Well, it's 1 over whatever's inside, which is 1 minus x. Be careful. We have to multiply by the derivative of the inside part. See, this is u. We have to, using the chain rule, we have to take the derivative of u, and the derivative of u is... 1 minus x. I'm sorry, the derivative of 1 minus x is negative 1. So we get y prime equals 2 minus 1 over 1 minus x. The derivative of that inside, 1 minus x, is negative 1. And yeah, sort of said the wrong thing for a moment there. Okay, let's try this. So that's, that's that. So by expanding, it, it actually makes it a little easier. Um, this one here, we can write y equals ln x squared plus 1 to the 1 half power. It's not like there's a whole lot we're doing here, but there's a little bit that can just make it easier. You bring the half to the front, and it just makes it easier because uh, if, we, if we do that. So I'm going to get, that's the, anyway, that's one of our properties. That's our, our third property over here is that if I have an exponent, it comes to the front. So I get y equals 1 half ln x squared plus 1, and then when we differentiate, we get 1 half. We get 1 over everything inside. 
So the derivative of ln and u is 1 over u. So that's what I get here. Then I multiply by the derivative of u, that would be u prime, and the derivative of u prime is 2x. So I can, uh, I mean, I, I put it right in the numerator, but you could say, well, we have 1 over u, 1 over x squared plus 1, and then times the derivative of x squared plus the inside is 2x. But I just, most of the time, just put it right there in the, in the numerator. And then what we get is cancellation. So we get y prime equals x over x squared plus 1. So those are two examples where we first expand before we um, find the derivative. All right, so that finishes the problem. Thank you.